Bună ziua! Bine ați venit la lecția 15 pentru avansați, dedicată echipei Dreams Come True. Pentru că eu nu vă cunosc nivelul de cunoștințe, am să postez atât lecții de nivel mediu cât și de nivel superior. După această lecție voi posta lecții de engleză pentru liceu și pentru admitere la facultate, pentru bacalaureat. Așa că dacă dumneavoastră considerați că uh, ale dumneavoastră cunoștințe depășesc nivelul de lecții postat de mine pentru avansați, vă invit să intrați la celelalte lecții unde vedeți că scrie pentru bacalaureat, pentru admitere la facultate sau pentru facultate. Mulțumesc pentru înțelegere! Uh, acum, după ce vă veți abona, am să vă rog să faceți o captură de ecran pentru această pagină pe care o vom lucra astăzi. Gata? Sper că se vede bine. <coughs> no place like home. Test your grammar. Which time expressions from the box can be used with the sentences below. First, let's read the expressions. When I was born, never, in the 1970s, tonight, frequently, for ages, ages ago, the other day, in a fourth night's time, recently, during a snowstorm, for a year, Since I was a child, later, sometimes, you can use each one, do you consider that it matches? Some of them can be used twice, others can be not used at all. Number one, <coughs> my parents met in Paris in the 1970s. <coughs> They travel abroad frequently. They were working in Canada since I was a child. I was born in Montreal ages ago. My grandparents have lived in Ireland um, since I was a child or for ages I wrote to my grandmother during a storm. I'm going to work in the U.S. the other day or uh, for a year. My brother's flying to Abu Dhabi on business the other day. He's been learning Arabic for ages. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Writing home. But first we have to read the text. The letter. Tuesday 9 p.m. Hi mom. Hi dad. Been here two days but seems like forever. It's kind of boring and I'm feeling very homesick. More homesick than last year. Because at Pine Trees we had more exciting stuff to do. Here we have an activity called extreme sun tanning, where you sit outside for two hours and do nothing. We also have an activity called sitting around playing chess. Last year we did stuff like uh, archery and mountain biking. I'm still hanging in there. So, go to go to sleep now. We are making chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. Love you lots, Max. P.S. Could you send me more money? Oh, and my cell phone. All the other kids have their cell phones. I hope you understood the text. Writing home, tense revision and informal language. Read the letter. Who is writing? Max is writing. Who to?
Max is writing to his parents. Where is he? He is in a camp. Um, what is he complaining about? He is complaining about um, he had an exciting stuff to do. And he is boring and also he is suffering of uh, homesick. How old do you think the writer is? I think that the writer is a student of um, 13, maybe 12, around this age. Number two, complete the questions, then ask and answer them with a partner. Number one, how long is Max or has Max been, better has Max been, at summer camp? How long has Max been at summer camp? Just two days. Number two, is he having a good time? No, not really. Uh, he is very homesick. Number three, is this his first time at summer camp? No, it is not. He was once before. Last year he went to pine trees. Number four, did he like it at pine trees? Oh yes, he liked it very much. Number five, why was that? Because uh, they had a lot of things to do. Activities like cycling, mount mountain biking. Uh, number six, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow uh, he will make pancakes. Number seven, why does he want his cell phone? Because all the other children have it. Well, thank you for your participation. I was wondering uh, if I should uh, work with you another page. Do you want to do another lesson? I, I uh, have the opinion to stop here. Well, not too much. Too much is... Uh, boring and tired. Thank you for your participation. Let me a like and see you tomorrow. Please subscribe if you didn't do yet. Goodbye.